Hello there and welcome into this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use ACC with triple screens without the use of NVIDIA Surround or AMD Ifinity. The first thing you want to do to make sure everything goes okay, go into your Windows display settings and make sure these monitors are lined up. It can be a few pixels off so just drag one and make sure when you feel the snap, make sure you drag it into it. When you feel the snap, let go. Drag the other one towards the middle. When you feel the snap, let go. As you can see I don't see the apply button but had my monitors been aligned by a pixel or two, you'd see that I'd need to apply to change the settings. Once that's all good, let's fire up ACC and run through the next setting. Okay, ACC is fired up. But as you can see, ACC isn't on my right monitor here, only on the center. So the first thing you wanna do is fire up an app called Simple Runtime Window Editor. I'm running version 2.36, but just get download the latest version. I'll put a link in the description. And this is quite simple. What you're gonna to wanna to do here select the running application and we're going to want this ac2win64shipping.exe this is just the instance of acc that's running so we hit open you can save profiles i'll load my, my profile so you can see all the settings i've got as you can see here it's pretty simple what we do is first of all set the width of your triple monitors so that's the width of one of your monitors times three so i'm 1920 1920 times three is 5760 the x that's going to be negative the width of one of your monitors this is running on the assumption that your middle monitor is your primary monitor in Windows. Scale 1, Y we don't need to change, and height 1080. This is going to make sure that your start menu bar is all hidden. Once you've done this, you can hit save profile. As you can see, I've saved my ACC one. All you need to do is make sure once your settings are done, just hit the set button. And you can see here on my right monitor, we have ACC. The next thing we want to do is head over to the options, video, and we need to make sure triple screen is enabled. This lets us use a field of view perspective system when we're in the car. So let's apply that. Next up, we're gonna jump into the car, any car really. Let's do brand hatch. Okay, now we're jumped into the car. Escape, view settings, head over to triple and wide screen. Here you're gonna to wanna to set the distance from screens. That's your eye to the screens. The width of one of your monitors, the width, not the diagonal, the width, the width of one of your bezels, the angles of your screens in degrees. Once you've got that set, you'll have a perfect triple screen layout. As you can see here, my curvature is all correct. I don't have any warping. You can probably see the Ferrari here. Nice perspective. Yeah, it looks great. So just quick run through the Windows display settings, your SWRE, make sure you save the profile, video options, make sure you have set the triple screen parameter. And then when you're in the car, view settings, triple and wide screen, fill out all your field of views, hit save, and you're good to go. Hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed the video. Down in the comments, if you've got any questions. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Sub if you want to see the next one. Bell notification to know when the next video drops. But other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.